Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and today we are talking about Atlas Crest Investment Corporation. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is actually a SPAC and I'm sure you do know because recently last week on February 10th, this company actually announced its merger with Archer Aviation. Now, we can see that it was trading around $11.30 prior to the merger announcement, and as soon as they announced the merger, they jumped up to $15.30, so about a $4 gap, and then it went all the, it kept going up, and we are trading now above uh, the $16 mark, close to $16.25. So I wanted to make this video to let you guys know what I think is going to happen with ACIC in the near future because there is a lot of news and a lot of things to consider if you guys want to invest in this SPAC. Now typically I like to invest in this SPAC prior to the merger date just so you can capitalize on a merger news if there is a good merger news. We can see that we would have profited about $4 a share. So typically I like to play the SPACs prior to merger but I do think there's a lot of potential for growth on this one. So let's get right into the video here. There's a lot to talk about. So first, if you guys aren't too familiar with what Archer Aviation is, basically they are a leader in the urban air mobility space. And what they are working on right now is absolutely insane. So they are looking to make an e vital aircraft, which is basically an aircraft that's going to act as a taxi driver type of company. So what I mean by that is that it's essentially the same thing as Uber and Lyft and all those companies that are doing uh, passenger transportation, but this is going to be in an aircraft. So this is absolutely insane. Nothing's, nothing like that exists currently, and it's very revolutionary and innovative if you're asking me. So just to get back into the merger details here, so we can see that after it merges, it's going to be trading under the ticker ACHR as opposed to ACIC. And the merger, they actually were able to get approximately 1.1 billion of gross proceeds uh, based on the merger. So they're gonna have a lot, a lot of capital to do uh, to pursue their investments and their technology and their design of that aircraft. So if we go on to Archer Aviation's website and into the investor presentation, we can see that the transaction is expected to close in Q2 of 2021. So keep that in mind, I still believe that there is a lot of price movement possible prior to this date because there is a lot of hype around this company right now. So we can see that this $2.7 billion valuation is a bit outdated because this was probably when ACIC was trading around $14 and now it's trading above 16 so I would put the valuation around 4 billion. And like I said, the capital structure, they are receiving $1.1 billion in proceeds from the merger and 500 million of that comes from cash and trust and 600 million comes from PIPE which is private investments in public equities. So some of the major players in this PIPE includes United Airlines and Stellantis, which are two companies that are very, very key for this company because they're also acting as partners. So scrolling down onto the investor presentation, here we get a sneak peek at the snazzy looking aircraft. This is their e vital what they're talking about, what they're making for the taxi passenger uh, type vehicle. And it just looks pretty crazy to me because I've never seen anything like it before and I don't think you guys have either because we're used to these big commercial planes or those smaller commercial planes but nothing of this magnitude. Now this kind of looks to me like a bigger size of a drone and it's, it's just crazy. So if we get into the facts here, uh, we can see that this is going to be urban air mobility, so it's obviously not gonna be used for cross-country traveling. Um, and we can see that Morgan Stanley actually estimates this industry to reach approximately 1.5 to 3 trillion dollars by the end of 2040. Now obviously this is in 20 years, so there's still lots of time for all of this sector to develop but I still do believe that there's a tremendous amount of growth in this company. So one thing that's very, very key here is that they've already uh, got a $1 billion uh, in orders from United Airlines for this type of uh, vehicle or aircraft, and they also have an option for an additional $500 million worth of aircraft. So this is very, very good for the company because they're not even, uh, this design is, is 
in design, it's not produced yet, and they have already secured $1 billion in order from United Airlines. So if we keep scrolling down here, we can see that United Airlines is going to be a key partner in this company, as well as Stellantis, which is uh, now the fourth largest automotive manufacturer in the world by volume. So as I mentioned, they got already a 1 billion plus option for additional 500 million of aircraft from United Airlines, and this represents the largest e vehicle purchase in history. Now, keep in mind that this is only expected to be delivered in 2024. And there are a few things that are still kind of left in the limbo. So they still need the FFA certification for this all to come to life. Now they expect to get the FFA certification in 2024. So hopefully there's no real delays or anything like that in that certification because if they don't get that FFA certification, they could be uh, not in trouble, but there could be some delays. So here's a better picture of what they're going to be creating, and this is their e uh aircraft. So they're calling this aircraft the Maker, and we can see that a few key facts on this one. First, it's going to be $3.30 per mile, which is very, very affordable if you're asking me. It can go up to 60 miles uh, in distance and 150 miles per hour. Now, that sounds absolutely crazy to me because let's say you're in this aircraft and you're going from point A to point B and you're traveling at 150 miles per hour. It's kind of scary, you know? I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I would be a bit scared because it's so compact. But anyways, it can go up to 150 miles per hour. So another element is that they're going to be 100 times quieter than a helicopter, which is very good for their urban uh, mobility. Because if you're in a very big city, you don't want plenty of these uh, aircrafts moving around making a ton of noise. So the fact that they're going to be 100 times quieter than helicopters, and they're also electric, so I mean, the two together obviously makes sense, and the fact that they are zero emission. So obviously going into a greener uh, world where, trying to, where companies are trying to avoid having emissions uh, that would create greenhouse gases, so having a zero emission aircraft is very key for this company. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a taxi service and they're using aircrafts instead of vehicles. So they're comparing themselves to Uber and Lyft and we can see in this slide here, they're actually comparing themselves to UberX and Uberpool and helicopters. So let's just, for the fun of it, we can see that this is from Manhattan to uh, JFK. So an UberX would cost you about $76 per passenger and it would take around 70 minutes to get to your destination. Now, if you look at a helicopter, um, it would cost you about $1,800 and it would take you 22 minutes, but who's gonna pay that to get to uh, JFK in 22 minutes, right? So if you look at what they are proposing, so Archer with their Maker aircraft, they are going to uh, charge $50 for this type of trip and it's going to take approximately 22 minutes. So you would have to drive to their area of uh, transportation and then it's a seven minute flight and a five minute walk. So that's absolutely insane. Comparing this to the helicopter price, I mean, it's a no brainer, but obviously this is very, very dependent on whether or not Archer Aviation can actually uh, pull through and do what they're uh, setting out to do. So moving on, I think that this slide here really represents the company's path to success. Now, from 2018 to 2020, their priority was to build that world-class team, which they've done. And now 21 to 2024 is to get the product going and to uh, get market focus. So essentially, like I said, they got that billion dollar order from United Airlines. They're going to demonstrate Maker's ability, uh, and that's uh, the aircraft. They're gonna demonstrate the ability of the aircraft and get the FFA certification. Their plan is to get it in 2024, so hopefully, like I said, that does happen. Now afterwards, apparently this model is very, very easy for mass manufacturing, so that would be their next step. And finally, it would be uh, a globally scaled operation. Now that would be obviously later in the future, maybe 10 years down the road, but again, that is just their general plan. Now, it would be important to note here that it 
plans to get free cash flow break even in Q4 of 2025. So up until this point, this company won't be making any type of profits. They would only start making profits after Q4 of 2025. So I think that this slide here represents very well the whole hype about this company. So we can see that the revenue starts in 2024, so that's three years away, and they would go from a $420 million revenue in 2024 to a $12 billion revenue in 2030. So this growth potential is completely massive. Uh, if you just compare the year 2024 to 2025, they're expecting a 2,375% growth difference from 2024. So that's just absolutely mind blowing. So you guys can go through all of the other uh, numbers here, but the revenue column here is definitely the one to look at. So again, if you guys really do believe in this company long term, I would definitely say, okay, I'm not going to uh, battle you on whether or not you want to invest in this company because I do see a potential in a lot of growth here. But again, this is only starting in 2024. So there's a lot, a lot of uh, challenges up ahead for this company up until 2024. And if they do deliver on all of their uh, things or all of their designs um, and certifications that they need to get there, I really do think that this company has a lot of potential. So on top of all of this, we can see that ARK Invest and Kathy Wood basically bought shares of ACIC, which makes it even better. So if I scroll down here, we can see that this is the ARK Q Holdings. So this is an ETF. And you can see that they have Tesla, they have Baidu, and they have all of these companies, which are their technology and robotics ETF. And if I scroll down here, we can see that they do have uh, some shares of ACIC. So right here, Atlas Crest Investment Corp, we can see that they purchased, or they now have 385,000 shares of this company for a grand total of $6,200,000 invested in the company. Now, this is very, very big because this company is still a SPAC. It hasn't officially closed yet. And I still do believe that there's a lot of potential, especially if this company, if ARK Invest just invested this amount of money in the company, they definitely do see something as far as for growth and potential in this company. So lastly, one more thing to look out for this coming week, we can see that they have a panel discussion and a live Q&A session scheduled for Monday, uh, February 22nd at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I would definitely make sure you guys watch this in order to fully understand what's happening. And here they're going to be talking about uh, plans for widespread use of air taxis and other electric aircrafts, regulatory consideration and SPACs and other paths to public markets. Now, again, I would definitely tune into this presentation and Archer Aviation is presenting in this. So I would definitely look out for that and tune in. So the last thing I want to mention here is I want to go on to their chart. As we said, yes, they got a big jump when they announced the merger with Archer Aviation. They actually hit a high right around here. February 18th, a high of 1860, and now we're trading closer to 1630. So I definitely do think there's a lot of upside potential, and especially with all the hype going about this stock right now, I think it does definitely have more upside than downside for the short term. Now, keep in mind that this company does not have any revenues yet because their revenues are only going to start kicking in in 2024. So this is just a huge idea, a very massive design, and a lot of things have to become reality before this company can actually move forward and create and produce these aircrafts. So if you guys are looking for a short-term play, I would definitely um, look into this ACIC a bit more. But if you guys are looking for long-term growth, I'm not necessarily sure I would buy into this company right now. Now, ev evidently down the line, there's a lot of potential. You guys saw the revenue numbers we shared and there's a lot of growth, but there's also a lot of work for the company to do to get there. So usually with SPACs, the big move is on merger, but I've seen some crazy moves when the ticker changes. So keep an eye out for Q2 of 2021 when the ticker changes from ACIC to ACHR. 
and who knows we might see a big move and especially the fact that ARK Invest had purchased or has purchased a lot of shares in this company is another great sign for the future of this company so if you guys are looking for a more short-term investment I would definitely look into this one and like I said if you guys are looking for a more long-term investment down the road I think this company could be valued a lot more than just the $16 it is right now so guys that's gonna be it for the video let me know what you think about ACIC and about Archer Aviation and their new maker aircraft this is absolutely insane if you ask me I hope it eventually comes true and we can actually get on these aircrafts and see what they are for them for ourselves because this would be revolutionary not having to wait anywhere in a car I mean sign me up so guys, again, if you like the video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.